here we are. Gugor. Wow, um, this is amazing. When I first streamed you up, I never would have imagined, not in a million years, I would get to speak to you face to face. Yes, it truly is an honor to be sitting here with the one and only Robert Paul Weston, the author of Gugor's very own book, The Creature Department. Uh, wow, thank you, Gugor. Um, you know, the feeling is mutual. It is an honor to meet you as well. Um, everyone, I would like to introduce Gugor the Knuckle Crumpler. And uh, Gugor is the, the head of Rickham Ruckery at the Creature Department. And Rickham Ruckery is sort of, it's like a... Um, well, Gugor, why don't you explain, why don't you explain what Rickham Ruckery is? Of course! Going back generations, all of us knuckle crumplers have been employed in the delicate art of crumpling stuff! It isn't very delicate, to be honest. Rickham Ruckery is the art of building and repairing machinery with nothing but our big bare hands. Gugor is a genius inventor. Ah, indeed you are a genius inventor. Um, and you know what? Now, I may not be a genius like you, but I am kind of an inventor. You crumple things with your hands, too? Well, uh, not exactly. Um, uh, I don't invent machines like you, uh, but I do use my hands to type. Um, I, instead of inventing machines, I invent stories. Mmm. Mmm. Gugor understands you're a writer. That means you find a typewriter, and then you mash it, and you squash it, and you crumple it up, and then a book comes out. Uh, not exactly. Um, sometimes it does feel like I'm just mashing the keys and a book comes out. But books aren't actually made of typewriters, they're made of paper. But I understand why you would think that might be the case, being an expert in Rickham Ruckery. Uh, no, instead I kind of mash the keys and I put together some words and a book comes out on paper. I've written a few books in the past. My first book was a book called Zorgamazoo, which um, I'm very, very happy to say has uh, won a number of awards. Um, and my second book, uh, Dust City, which was nominated for the Edgar Allan Poe Award for uh, Best Young Adult Mystery. Um, and earlier this year, I, uh, I published a book called Prince Pugly of Spud and the Kingdom of Spiff, um, which is probably one of my favorite titles for any book ever. Um, but I do think we have a lot in common in the sense that we both do our jobs creatively. This is true. Gugor had to think very creatively to invent a teleportation machine. But it didn't work out quite the way we planned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes things don't work out the way we plan them. I understand that very well, Gugor. Um, now, speaking of creativity, do you happen to have any knuckle crumpler tips I could use in my writing? Mm -hmm. Gugor has three rules of creativity. One, no idea is too crazy to work. Gugor once invented a shoehorn horn. It worked, and Gugor doesn't even wear shoes. <laughs> Two, it is okay to make mistakes. This is especially true when you invent things by crumpling a bunch of random stuff together with your hands. Three, create what makes you happy. The Gorks always tell us our inventions in the creature department are pointless, but we know that. Even when they're not working quite the way we planned, they're still making lots of people happy. And that's the number one sign of a great invention. Oh, I think that's absolutely right, Gugor. Um, I think what you said is very true, that uh, creativity is the most important thing in inventing machines and books. And I think um, it's especially important for children's books, because among us humans, I think it's often the children who are the most creative of all. 